Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I actually have a very special little treat for y'all. So the way I like to do at content, brief interlude as the as the video of this wonderful cheese interaction happens. The way I like to do my act content is I just explore it all as soon as it comes out. So path one, like quest one, I'll do a path, then I'll do the other five paths, then I'll move on to uh, quest two. So as I, you know, rolled through 8.2, I was thinking, hey, you know, this is pretty easy. So I, you know, kept on rolling through it, wasn't really having any problems, and then I got to this final boss. Now, I have a good amount of shrug off skill champions, but not nearly enough. So the first time I came in, I think I used Valkyrie and I got smacked. She's a great option for this, but I got smacked, used way more revives than I would ever want to use on a final boss like this, especially, you know, one that you're supposed to be kind of like playing their game. So anyways, I was just like, all right, well, you know, waste all my units, maybe make a video on it. And then there was this beautiful mutant path. So because it was a beautiful mutant path, I brought in Bishop. I was just like, you know what? He's got a lot of prowess. He's good for the path. We'll see how he fares. And I was recording because I was just like, maybe I'll find something. Maybe I won't. And I found the most beautiful cheese for this. So I won't get into too much into uh, Bahamut's, I think that's how you say his name, Bahamut uh, mechanics, just because there's a lot of videos on that. Uh, I certainly can, um, if anybody has any questions, drop it in online. I certainly can explain it. Um, and I just went in with Bishop. And you know, how I like to play Bishop is I, I'll drop a parry. And then immediately after that parry, I'll get some heal charges up just to make sure, you know, that uh, I can stay topped up from that parry, you know, see where the damage is at. And I notice something spectacular. When he purifies, or I won't even say purifies because I do think this might be a bug, um, so I want to let you all know about it quick. Um, when he parries, and when he consumes those, uh, when he consumes those uh, prowesses to get regeneration, Bahamut considers it a purify. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the, 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 the thing that we're looking for in this boss, the thing that gets you the damage, he considers it a purify. And that's the whole thing about this, but that's what makes it hard. Otherwise, it's pretty much just like, all right, you know, dodge the special, learn the special, end of the story. He considers this a purify. I will stress it one more time. When you use, when you hold block with Bishop and you consume your prowesses to get regeneration, Bahamed counts it as a purify. He gains a volatility charge of which you need three for him to launch that Gamma Blast that you can then reflect back at him and get a removal charge and or damage and or um, stun him and deal it, start dealing your damage. So I found it out pretty quickly because I, you know, immediately purified and then it became infinitely easier. I went from using like 10 revives on the first round to um, this one. This is my first time doing it. I used one just as I'm getting acclimated to the fight and then I soloed him with Bishop the rest of the nodes. I think there's one node where I used Mr. Fantastic, but I could have used Bishop. I could have, um, he works for that node as well. So this is just so spectacular, y'all. Um, this is the easiest, I think, final boss if you use this strategy that they've ever released. Now, I wanna get into just like, you know, how you're gonna wanna go about this, but besides, you know, holding block and getting those volatility charges, it really is just learning it. Um, with Bishop, you're going to want to always, because your regeneration rate is reduced only for debuffs, so you're always going to want to have the regens up so you can stay topped up. You're going to want to go for the special two that's going to want to deal you the most damage. However, a special one or a special three in a time of crisis is not something that's going to be a miss, and it's not going to set you back if you don't get that special two off. Um, it really is simply just holding block when you have the, the, par the prowesses getting those regenerations and uh, slamming into him, making this fight maybe a little longer than with some like Kingpin, but I mean, could not be easier. It could not be an easier fight with Bishop, and I'm so happy I found out about this. It saved me a lot of revives. I hope it saves you all a lot of revives. However, fair, you know, devil's advocate warning. Bishop's regen is not listed as a purify in his abilities, which means that this is either a bug or it's reacting as intended for the devs and the devs thought this was a great idea, or, you know, 
whatever, but it's not listed as a purify. It is listed in his abilities that if he has a bleed debuff on him, consuming the prowesses will purify it. And I think that's where maybe the, the code, I don't know that much about the code of this game, but I think that's where the code gets confused because it is listed as a purify if there is a bleed. So there's some little overlap in which this Bahamut considers that a Purify. I, I'm not sure about other nodes. I would assume yes, though, because, I mean, if this one does, then uh, pretty much everyone's going. Every node that ha has Purify is going to consider this Purify. So um, it is a bug. I'm not sure if they will fix it because it doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem... Uh, like, I, f I feel like it would be pretty straightforward, right, to uh, just not include Bishop's Purify or to not consider testing that, but it is fully possible that it could get removed. But it is important for y'all to know how to do this. It's important that it is uh, talked about because right now, this is by far the easiest way to go about doing this fight. Um, I think, uh, all things considered, it's not game-breaking because Kingpin, uh, Mole Man, Stuff like that. They also have like a very high purify chance, kind of like bishops. It's just he doesn't even need a debuff on him to get those charged. Whereas all those other champions, they need a debuff from a special one um, or a special two. So you're having to bait that out three times. Whereas bishop, you just go into the fight parry and you get the three volatility charges. It makes it so much quicker and so much easier for um, us players to just get those three volatility charges and continue playing the game. So I don't think it's extremely overpowered, but if you're struggling on this fight, do this. And I cannot stress this enough. I know I'm always very um, sidebarred about my own opinions because I know I could be wrong. I have, I have looked through the champions. I have looked through all the videos. This is going to be the easiest way to get those volatility charges. I won't say he does the most damage, but he has the easiest access to the stun period, which is going to be your window of increased damage, which... I, I just think mathematically you're going to get the fight done easiest and quickest with this. Additionally, as you can see in this video, if you do mess up and you do end up getting uh, cr uh, crapped on and you get incinerated by the special one or two, I, can't, I think special one, Bishop has such high energy resistance that even though his willpower mastery is still reduced, you will not take any more than like 10 damage and if you have the regens you will continue regening so you can mess up you can get hit in the face you can get that incinerate ticking on you and it will only help you so i think and i will still say i think just because i don't know everything about this game and i'm proved wrong so many times i think as of right now bishop is by far the best counter for the bahamut boss in a way where it's not even close Kingpin, probably the second best option, maybe Mole Man, I, I don't know, I don't have them at either, I put them at 5 star rank 5, but no 6 star of them, um, cannot even touch this, they can't touch how perfect they are for this fight, the uh, Bishop is for this fight, because you're not even, like, there's really, I mean, I mess up, because this is my first time doing it, this is my first time doing it, and I thank God I was recording, um, I mess up, and I have to use one revive, and had I just been even half a brain while I was filming this, it would have been a very, very simple and easy solo. You don't have to like really even, even you don't even have to learn his special one. You don't even need to learn how to dex his special one. That's, that's crazy. That is crazy. You can just hold block through it, get your regens, get the purifies, regenerate. And if you just mess up a dex, which you don't even have to do, because you can just block all the way through it, he will incinerate you, you will heal from the incinerate, and you will deal extra damage while it is up on you, because that is how Bishop works. It is crazy how perfect he is for this fight, and I am shocked that nobody else is talking about it. What, what if you get hit by the heat blast and you get incinerated? You get incinerated, you heal from the incinerate, and then you just go right back to clapping him. Look, I got knocked out. That's how bad of a player I am. Even with this perfect matchup, I got it screwed up. Um, I I am pretty sure that this is an oversight on Kabam, and I don't know if they'll fix it, just because it's an act content, and it, it, it was designed pretty rigor rigorously, and if we have found this, they're usually pretty akin to giving that to us. Um, i.e. the Gwenpool juice node, they never removed that despite it being pretty easy, but I guess that was working as intended. Um, Cytalis had a little glitch um, when she dropped, and I'm trying to remember the exact details of it, but it was you could get really easily 
out of the trap with Hercules, and you could end up like keeping her in a wounded state for longer with Hercules, where Hercules was kind of bugged for that fight. And they never, um, they never fixed that. The only thing they changed about Cytalis was um, that uh, her traps were invisible. They changed that, which was good for us. So I don't think they're gonna change this. If they do, it would make sense. This is obviously a bugged interaction um, with the Purify. Um, but as of right now, it is up and running, and you will not be punished for using it because it is technically still up and running as intended uh, as of right now because there's been no um, talk of this bishop nerf. Oh, sorry, this bishop strategy. And so there's no downside to going in there, smashing it out, getting that exploration. Um, oh, this was my final one. So this was this isn't the first time I did it. Uh, I think I did. I do have that recorded, but this is my final exploration one. So um, I fully explored this uh, act content based on um, the strategy using Bishop. And I tried it the first time. I think I used uh, Valkyrie. I used Valkyrie and I got, I mean, I could have figured it out. I probably could have soloed the fight, but I didn't have to. That's the best part. I just, you know, went in with Bishop on this movie path and annihilated it. So, as of right now, go in with your bishop. If he's six star rank one, take him up to rank two. If you don't have the materials to, don't really worry about it. You'll be fine. Maybe you'll use one extra revive. If he's five star, please take him up. And if you really have no resources to take up your bishop, then I am truly sorry. You might, you might want to wait until you do, because this is ridiculous how perfect he is. Um, he made this like feel almost like uh, how Gwen Master felt on the juice node, if any of y'all remember that, or if any of you have played that yet. Um, there was a node in the Gwen, with the Gwen Master where you would just get increasingly more and more attack, and if you just stayed alive for a certain amount of time, you would just annihilate her, and it felt so satisfying, like you'd take anyone in and do it. That's how this feels with Bishop. It feels like I'm just kind of like, oh yeah, look, I'm just playing uh, the, bit, the the easiest possible way and just not dying, and I have nothing to worry about. You literally just need to hit the heavy attack when the Gamma Blast hits you, or the special attack, depending on your face. So I found out about this, and I knew I needed to share with y'all. Please let me know if I'm missing something or if this is something that people already know about. I looked, I scoured the internet, and I could not find anything on uh, using Bishop for this, which is something that definitely needs to be talked about because at a certain point right like these are designed to take your units these fights um they're designed to be fun first of all but they're designed to take your units and your revives so they're supposed to be hard you're supposed to be spending revives on these there are people that are really good that get really good with these and once you get acquainted once most people get acquainted to them they can usually sew it but for the first little while it is designed to trip you up be confusing take your units have a nice day and with Bishop, you don't need to worry about that. You literally just need to load the basics of the fight. You need to know how to parry. And you need to know how to launch a heavy attack into something that's coming right at your face. And then there's no problem. There's no problem whatsoever. But I was so jazzed when I found out about this guy. Uh, found out about this. And I hope you guys can take advantage of it because it really is pretty game changing, especially for this fight, because I was super worried about it. Um, I stocked up so many extra units that I didn't really even have to stock up revives, um, all that sort of stuff, just for this boss, because he looks so intimidating. And he's just turned into a plushie by Bishop. Now, I love Bishop. Um, I recently took him to rank three for Battlegrounds, but I had never imagined that I would be so happy that I ranked up a Bishop as I was when I found out how easy this was. I mean, he turns the guy into a big old stuffed animal, you give him a hug, you take your your rank four six star gem, you tank the you take the two Nexus crystals, you take the uh, sixty thousand I think plus rewards probably closer to eighty to a hundred thousand six star shards. You take your catalysts and you say thank you, big teddy bear, thank you for doing nothing but sitting there watching me purify those uh, prowesses, turn them into regenerations, and completely cheese your fight. That's what you're saying to him. And you know what? I think he I think he likes it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to stop going on my rant. Use Bishop for this if you're looking for exploration and you're not looking to spend units, you're looking for those rewards, but you're not looking to spend money. Use Bishop. I'm not sure if this was designed. I, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it was designed this way, and I'm honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if they nerfed it because it was a glitch. 
but um, for as of right now, there's no word on it from Kabam. Um, they haven't said anything. I'm not even sure if they're aware of it. Um, go ahead and take those, take that, uh, take that free stuff, use it, get a freaking great champion, take them to rank four, all that jazz, and say, thanks, uh, th thanks for letting me know about it. If I'm the one who let you, if you found about this from somebody else, but if I've let you know about that, I would be so happy to hear that you guys got a god tier or got your first rank four from just using this strategy. This is why I make videos, this is why I do this stuff, because I love hearing about the stuff that I'm able to help people do. With the Legends title, same thing. It made me so happy to have y'all in my line and telling me thank you for getting y'all a Legends title. So if that can happen again, for thank you for full expiration of Act 4 without having to spend a bunch of revives, I will be more than happy to receive those messages. However, if it doesn't help, you let me know that too. And you know, maybe I can point you in the right direction, provide another counter. But as of right now, I think just about anybody watching this channel who's up for this act content, obviously, who's um, in the right rank uh, part of the game, anyone who's doing this can do this. I believe in y'all. I believe in Bishop. I believe in Bishop. So that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I could probably talk for a couple more hours about how happy this makes me, but I really hope y'all get some enjoyment out of it. And I really hope this helps you guys because this saved my butt. It's probably going to save other people's butts when they figure out about it, unless I'm just going on a rant for something everybody already knew, or I'm uh, doing something else wrong like I often do. This could be pretty um, major for a lot of people trying to get this exploration that don't have the units or don't have even maybe the money if they haven't uh, grinded for the units, or even the time, really, because this is a time commitment too, right? Because like you're doing these fights and you're reviving every five seconds, or you know you don't know the fight very well, and it could take a long time. It could take in three days just to uh, explore the final path. It doesn't have to. Thanks to this guy. So big old cheers to Bishop. Big old cheers to you guys for watching my channel. Thank you. The support always it, it, it baffles me. Um, I am so grateful for everybody who consistently watches my channel and I'm so happy that I could help you out with the Legends title and I hope this is a similar situation where I can help you get some Act, uh, act 8 rewards for really cheap and easy Bishop cheese. <laughs> a whole lot of bishop cheese um i'm gonna let this play out but please guys my line's always in my comments if you need anything please let me know i will try my best to answer everyone i always try my best to answer everyone and uh if i did something wrong if i did something stupid besides you know ways to revive off a stupid mistake please let me know you'll have a great rest of your day please enjoy the channel hope this helped